Now, what really happened with Andy Kaufman? Well, the way I hear it, <laughs> and I was in it, I'm told that it was staged. However, from what I know from the inside, I knew something was going to go amiss because he had been dilly-dallying with all the material that particular show that he'd rehearsed real well in the afternoon. So I was braced for action. I knew something would go wrong. I didn't quite know what. So it was a massive improvisation when he finally did break out of that sketch. It was an improvisation. But as in all good improvisations, we all used what we were really feeling and acted upon it. I was very angry, so I hit him with bread and butter and it went Best off. Best guess, How many people were in on the gag and how many of you weren't? I think... Uh, Three people were in on a gag, and the rest of us were at sea. Our crew knew nothing about it and loyally leapt to our defense. I, mean, I think they caught them in the final shot, like really yeah. turning red, and their dander was just up, and they were ready to get in there and mess Hi, up dander. and kick rear end, as they say. As they say. <laughs> Will you ever forget uh, our first meeting? You, you I've remember. never forgotten you. Probably. No, of course, I threw <laughs> up in your airplane. That's didn't right. I? <laughs> you remember me, Tony? I threw up on your show once. <laughs> Oh, you've been doing that all over town, I, huh? I do. She's serious. And now Melanie will throw up for us. Yeah. <laughs> First I'll switch to Melanie and I were riding to Lake Havasu. That's right. And we hit the Santa Ana winds. That's right. And we were trying to control the plane, and we were doing this, and suddenly, as the plane was doing this, from the back, Melanie went, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Right in a bag oh. of apples, which broke. <laughs> Uh, yes. Uh, sort of cascaded all over the airplane. Yeah. Mm. But it was color coordinated with your vinyl interior. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I had mango for breakfast and. Uh, oh, oh, wonderful. It worked out well. My, this is a show today, huh? <laughs> I just wonder what kind of mail you get on a show like that because we get a lot of people that write in uh -huh. that are concerned about the issues that we talk about here in the morning. What mm -hmm. do they write to you about? To me personally. Mm -hmm. Besides, I, I want an eight by ten glossy. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot. I get a lot of. I get, I get a lot of uh, embarrassingly perverse uh, mail from young people. I don't right, know why I'll, that is. We'll go on to the next yeah, issue but, here. Are yeah. you married? No, I'm very single. Is there somebody special in your life, Melanie? Is there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, there are a lot of special friends. I, I. I see a lot of. I see guys. Yeah. But no, I, I think that's my next. I'm, I'm in rep, I'm in training for relationship 101 right now. Reading the book. It's a long course. I'm, I'm meeting a lot of married women. I ask them how they do it. It's, uh -huh. it's, it's a skill. Yeah, it's definitely it's a skill. Definitely. It's not a lazy kind of activity. Skill that a lot of us probably should brush up on. So you're very conscientious. You're looking for Mr. Wright. I'm. Uh, yeah, I, well, not actively. You never find them when you're no, looking you don't. actively. No. They have to be looking for you. Is yeah, what you it just is. have to. And then oh, <laughs> oh he, just, he just walked in the door. There he is. Oh. Okay, we're living in a pretty crazy time when there's a lot of unhappiness going on in the world. And for me, and I guess everybody else who's in comedy, that sense of humor is a requirement to be able to operate in this life. I think as much as you can, you should lighten up and laugh because otherwise it's hard to get through it.